Right then, the big Leilandi Eye root ball. I have no idea if this video is going to work out or not because it's Leilandi Uh But no matter what happens, I'll put the video up. Anybody who's watched the channel for a while knows I think it's important that videos that don't work out go up because it's important for newer turners to know that not everything works out. Right, I'll go and cut this into a usable shape and we'll see how it goes. Right then, let's cut this up so it'll fit on the lathe. Um, if you've never done a root ball, uh, you have to be very careful doing them because you never know what's in them. Um, it's going to take me a while to get this round. Uh, I'm only expecting about an eighth, possibly a nine inch bowl out of this because I found there's a lot of punkiness in it. And I'm going to have to bring that end down to about there, I'd say, because there's a lot. It's, some of this down this end is like paper almost. Right? So uh, what I'll do is I'll bring it around and I'll be back down. I'm going to be wearing the helmet all of the time through this. Because as I said, you never know you know what's in one of these things. And it's just not worth the risk. Right? So I'll be back when... Uh, when I get it round. So, see you in a few. Right then, change of plan. When I rounded this off, this end is just far too pretty to actually turn away. Right, so what I did was I rounded it off, well, close to round anyway. I brought it back outside, cut it in half with the chainsaw, and I'm now gonna do two bolts. Right, we're gonna concentrate on this one. Um, as I said, it's just far too pretty to actually just torn away. So uh, I'm going to take the face plate off this one and put it on this one. Now, as you can see, this is end grain. I know I'm weird. I like doing end grain balls. Right. Uh, I have another video out on the best way of doing these, and I'll stick a link up wherever they go. Right, and I'll stick a link in the description to it. Um, because engrain balls are a completely different animal to your standard side grain ball. And uh, so it's a uh, it's different tool presentation and stuff. Right, so we'll stick a link to that in there. Now, I'll get back on to doing this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the faceplate from here to this one. And I'll be back then. Right, and we've got this thing rounded off. Um, very, very pretty. Right, that's something you should always do. If you've got a plan in your head for something, be willing to change it. Right. Uh, you get some nice surprises sometimes. Right. Uh, this bowl is only about six inches across, I'd say. So it's a small enough bowl. I know, weird for me to do a small bowl. But sometimes pretty wins out. Now we're going to start shaping this. Remember, it's end grain, so everything's backwards. You know, the grain is probably going all over the place. so much all over the place in this that I'm probably bouncing all over the place. Right, I'm going to flatten that end off. Now, right, as I said, I have this held on a face plate. But what I have on it is two inch, very um, rough threaded screws, stainless steel. 
so they won't break and they shouldn't pull. Void just there, but I'm not too worried about it because, as I say in the um, the end grain video, you never hold an end grain bowl on a mortise, it's always a tenon. Right, so, I'm gonna put the tenon on this, so hopefully, the tenon will actually. Take away that little void that's there. You see, it does, it's right in the edge of it. How deep is that gold on? That little void goes pretty deep. I'm going to have to turn some of this away because there's a void in there and it's going in at least that far. Right, so I'm going to have to turn away some of this. But I should keep most of the pretty when I need look. The void is full of stones and dirt, so it is absolutely eating my edge, as you can imagine. I'm going to have to go on edge this. See how deep it actually goes. There's still that much of a void there. But I'll keep quite a lot of the pretty if I can get this right. Go ahead and start this from the other end. But so with these things, you never know what you're going to hit in them. Right, we're at the end of the void. Mm, it's still okay. So it's always for about. Now I put the tenon back in. Now we can start shaping this thing. But she is definitely gonna be pretty. A lot smaller than we hoped. This is starting to remind me of that uh, bog oak video. The one that was highly entertaining but was probably the worst actual wood tony video I've ever made. But it was a, an entertaining video. This is no prehistoric ants this time.
little void there. Just try and shape the bolt to get rid of that. there and I've tried CA in it in well it's not doing very well Straight wall bowl. It's only the pretty we want to keep. And there we go. Right. It's going to be a small one, but I just. That was just too pretty not to use. Alright. Now I'm going to sand and finish that. And we'll be back. Okay, just buffing off. Uh, it's a bit of a weird one for me. I never do want a small one video. I do do small balls, do quite a lot of them actually, but I never actually do them on video. Um, so, anybody who's expecting to come and see the usual huge stuff I do, well, this is just the way this one went. Well, I think you will agree that that is just too pretty to turn away. Right, let me flip this over and hollow it out. I'll be back then. Get this thing hollowed out. Shouldn't take all that one. Slightly off center, but I'm not too worried about it. You know, the thing about a flat wall ball like this is there's actually quite a few ways of. Following them. You can actually cut straight down in through there with a parent tool. Or you can just use your um all good. I 
Ci vorrà anche una deu. I'm actually doing this is it's my thumb right I'm pushing down and in with my thumb I'm using my right hand just to keep that angle but I'm actually pushing straight in with my thumb and down at the same time that's giving me that straightness that I need This being laid down the eight, and with the grain all over the place in it, I'm expecting this to um, move quite a bit, which is why I'm not worried about that and um, it being slightly off center. on this now I'm back to driving with this hand because that is too much of a stretch to use my thumb but I am using my thumb to guide it Yes, it is moving. Really. Thought it would. Now that is really pretty in there. Is that it? Would have been a pity to actually just waste that piece of wood. Now I want to leave some weight in the bottom there because there's not much of a base on this, so I want some weight to actually hold it up. Right now, we get the sand on that. Finish it, and we'll be back then. I'm just putting the wax up. I said the news was me. I'm just putting smart. But the land you don't turn your nose up. If you ever get the opportunity to get the corners, it is gorgeous. But it will shatter like ceramics if you drop it. We have that big group ball. We got a pretty good ball, and we still have the big ball blanks. Which I'll do at a later stage. But that is a pretty little ball. The grain size looks like a little flower just there. That's, it's one of the reasons I love doing main grain, because you get stuff like that. Uh, right, I'll just. Uh, Flatten off the bottom of this, take that ten and off, stick up some pictures at the end. So, as I said, something different, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you wouldn't mind clicking like on the video, it would be great. 
Men sen är det liksom.